Okay, so I want to talk about uh, the sun. Do you want to talk about the sun? Yeah, let's do it. Let's and do not just stellar structure. Stellar structure, yeah. not just a stellar structure, solar structure. Mm. So let's start in the middle. Okay. I like the middle. The chewy, uh, like the, the nougaty center. So in the center of the sun, this is where the nuclear reactions take place. Okay, and what right. kind of nuclear reactions are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, so it's hydrogen plus hydrogen getting turned into helium. Okay. It's not just that straight kind of reaction. There, there's some extra complicated steps that make mm -hmm. it possible. But deep in the core, this is the only place in the sun, in any star, where the fusion actually takes place. So most of the gas of a star is just like hanging out. It's okay. not doing anything. It's staying what it is. And that's pretty interesting because when we add hydrogens together to get helium, we'll actually lose mass. So mass is going to disappear. That's um, right. And, and so that's where our energy is coming from because E equals mc squared. Thank you, Einstein. So, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> that's not Einstein's voice. I've never heard him talk. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So when they, when they fuse together, the hydrogen has a little bit less mass. So there's a little tiny bit of energy. And that comes out as a photon, a high energy bit of light called uh, a gamma ray. Awesome. So that photon is going to have to travel out of this core to continue to transport this energy that we right, just Right, because it's hot and, and it's, it's got to get out. So that's where the next layer of our sun comes. And this is the radiative zone. And so what we're going to have are these photons. These are the squiggly lines of the photons. These are the squiggly lines. Can I draw out. a squiggly line? You can. These you are can. photons. So is it, is it easy for these photons to get out of the core? Is Actually, it like that? it's extremely difficult. If oh. this was a vacuum, it would only take a photon, which is, for the record, just a, a small unit of light. A bit of light. A bit, bit of, of light. light. It would take that bit of light up to a few seconds to travel this distance. But since the radiative zone is so dense that it would take over 100,000 years Instead of just a couple seconds for this photon to escape. Oh, wait, I was busy writing this. Did you say 100,000 years? Yeah, so they're Over. very persistent photons trying so to get like out. So it's like super dense in here. That's, yeah, that's the density we're talking ah, about. Ah, so like all the layers of the sun are crushing down. It's dense enough in the center for fusion to happen, but then the next layer, no fusion, but still like super soupy dense. Yes. And so the photons just like, they hit into stuff. There's like, there's all sorts of junk out here. It's true, yeah. And they just keep bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Yeah. But then they get to a point where the density changes enough where there's another layer. And I'm, I want a new color for this. Do what you? should I do? Blue? Blue. Blue. So, nice, yeah. yeah. So there's another layer that we call the convective zone, right. where the light is, uh, the energy is being transported using light uh, in this radiative zone. But then in this region of the sun, the temperature changes fast enough where it's really hot here and it's really cold here. And this means that chunks of gas of the sun can start blobbing up and down. Okay, yeah. So a piece of gas that gets heated by the, the radiation below it can start rising to the surface, but then it cools off because it like touches space. This is space out here, <laughs> space. And it cools off and then it sinks back down. Hmm. So, so it's what do we call this? This is called the convective zone okay. or conductive zone. Hmm. Convective zone is the correct answer. Yes. Convection, because <laughs> it's convection currents. It is convection currents. And this is happening all over the surface of the sun through this whole layer. So through here, radiation is taking the energy that's being generated in the core. Here, it's just big blobs of plasma that are moving back and forth, in and mm. out, in and out. So it's almost like the surface of the sun is, is boiling. Okay, yeah. And that makes the surface look, uh, look kind of funky. Right, and so that's basically the perimeter of the, the sun's surface, but there's actually another layer beyond that if we look at its outer atmosphere. So out here, I'd like to do a pink corona. Ooh, um, corona. Uh, yes. Does that mean crown? It does totally mean crown. means crown. It totally means crown. Um, so this corona is actually Ooh. about two solar radii in width. And so it's like so, twice as big as the sun. Exactly, yeah. That's huge, but, That's huge. but when we look at the sun, this is the part that we see right here, right? right? Is the surface. This is what we see. So you really only see this if we're dealing with an eclipse. Oh. So that's, if you have an eclipse, you see that um, sort of outer glow, a red glow. Right. That is our chance to look at the corona. That's the corona. Oh, because yeah. usually this part of the sun is so bright, it you outshines it. the corona. Exactly. But then when the moon 
locks it, right. we get to see this corona. It, and so is the, the corona cold or what's it's going on? It's actually extraordinarily hot. It's ah. about one million degrees. A million? That's yes. even hotter than the surface. It's mu yeah, definitely. Wow. And we're not actually sure why. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So that's still just another mystery to solve. So many mysteries. But so little time. So it's super hot. But if you were to like fly a spaceship there, if, if, if we had a, a rocket ship, this is a rocket ship, by the way. It looks like a fish. <laughs> but it's really a rocket It's really ship. a rocket. It's really a rocket. Here we go. <laughs> if we were to fly, would we actually like get incinerated if we're this close? Mm, probably. No. No? No, we wouldn't. We because wouldn't the corona, even though it's super hot, it's not very dense. Oh, All the stuff nice. in the sun is like crammed in. But in the corona, there's like, like one stupid proton floating around, right? So or I like two. Yeah. How close could you get? Um, that is a good question because eventually you would get so close to yeah. the surface that you would be incinerated. But when you're way out here at the edge of the corona, okay, it's so it's nothing. Safe, like, yeah. yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's not exactly a pleasant place, <laughs> but it's relatively safe. Cool. And yeah. that and so this is what our sun is made of. Are other stars uh, exactly like this? Not necessarily. So you could actually oh, really? have. A uh, radiative zone outside of a convective zone, and a lot of that depends on the mass of the star. Oh, so this is specific okay, to our okay. sun, but doesn't necessarily determine what every star out there is going to look like. Okay.